The mayor's office says people who claim to be peacefully demonstrating are hurling grave messages at Mayor Jenny Durkin, some of them threatening her life. We want to warn you, some of the messages you'll see in this story are profane and offensive. Durkin's office says individuals showed up at her house again Thursday night and left behind disturbing messages. They say someone scrawled a homophobic taunt on the sidewalk, signing it Love Antifa. Another one called her a Nazi. The mayor's office says earlier threats included guillotine Jenny, bring out the guillotine, and die. The city says the graffiti, plus emails, voicemails, letters, and social media messages, some of which include death threats, became so frequent that the city developed a new threat reporting system so the mayor's staff could quickly notify police. The mayor's office says some of the threats appear to align with anti-government and extreme right-wing groups. The city says that's especially concerning Bible, after the FBI recently foiled a plot by ago. two militia groups planning to kidnap happen. Michigan's governor. None of this is helpful. It does not promote peace. It does not get us to the next level of, uh, of, of a city uh, working together. Reverend Harriet Walden is with the group's Mothers for Police Accountability and says whoever is threatening the mayor does not represent those peacefully protesting racial injustice and unfair policing. What's happening at the mayor's house has nothing to do with the righteous issue that, that has propelled us to be here sitting on the bench, and that was George Floyd. The city says police are investigating some of the recent threats which they deemed credible. They would not say what those threats are due to security concerns and to protect the investigations. In Seattle, Ted Land, King 5 News.